I give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which in Hebrew are the wonderful names of the Creator, our Heavenly Father, I Am, which this world has named God, and His beloved anointed Son, which this world has named Jesus. I give honor, respect, and thanks to all the true, faithful, and sincere apostles, elders, prophets, and torchbearers of the nation of Israel, who have willingly endured and risked much to bring forth the truth. Thank you, brothers. In this chapter, we are beginning the conversation of glory, the glory of the nation of Israel. The mighty nation of Israel being the so-called Negroes, the so-called Latin Hispanics, and the so-called Native Americans. In the spirit, we're going to start with a story that came out in the news today that Mystery Babylon, the so-called United States of America, has been hijacking face masks from countries such as Germany and Canada, its EU, European Union, allies, its friends in what has been described as modern day piracy. So people are sick in Germany, people are sick in Canada, and Mystery Babylon, the great whore, decided to steal masks from her friends. This is how you know every single prophecy in the Bible shall be fulfilled. For it says in the book of Revelation, chapter 17, verse 16, and the ten horns, which is the European Union, which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, Mystery Babylon, the so-called United States of America, and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. That second death of fire. Verse 17, for the most high power hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will. So just a little side note on the Sabbath about the prophecies of <laughs> about the prophecies written in this book and how we are watching them take shape. All glory comes from Yahweh, the most high power, the creator of heaven and earth, the creator of all things, the creator and destroyer. All glory comes from him and all glory is due unto him. And there is one nation of people one family on the earth that the Father has given his glory unto. Now, all the other nations have had kingdoms and empires, and they have had rulership. They have lived deliciously, but they have not had the glory of Yahweh the Most High Power placed upon them. Let's prove that. So unto the nation of Israel, Yahweh the Most High Power said, I will scatter you to the four corners of the earth in captivity. The book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 6. I, I being Yahweh, I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far and my daughters from the ends of the earth. So in the end, when it is time for salvation, the father is going to bring back his sons and daughters. Verse 7, even everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. All glory comes from Yahweh and is due unto the Most High Power. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. So, when did that happen? It happened before any of us got here, but where in the Bible did this happen? The book of Genesis, chapter 35, verse 9. And the Most High Power appeared unto Jacob again when he came out of Paddan Aram and blessed him. So this is our forefather, Jacob. And the Most High Power said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. So it is the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the seed of these men. So in order to be an Israelite, you must come from the seed of your father who is an Israelite, a descendant of Jacob, through the blood, through the blood, through the blood. The book of Psalms, chapter 105, verse 9 which covenant he, he being Yahweh the Most High Power, made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac. 
and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law. So it ends with Jacob. Jacob is the chosen seed from him, from him. And this is our forefather who Yahweh changed his name to Israel, thus naming an entire nation of people. Because yes, he changed the forefather Abraham's name from Abram to Abraham. But this is the moment that the father confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. So the physical seed, the bloodline of our forefather Jacob, whose name was changed personally by Yahweh the Most High Power to Israel. These are the Israelites. And this is the nation of people and the family of people on earth who the Father has put his glory upon personally. The book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 13, verse 11. For as the girdle cleaveth to the loins of a man, so have I, I being Yahweh, caused to cleave unto me the whole house of Israel and the whole house of Judah, saith Yahweh, that they might be unto me for a people and for a name and for a praise and for a glory. But they would not hear. So this is the father speaking through the prophet saying, these are my people who I've placed my glory upon. The book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 4. Who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory, and the covenants, and the giving of the law, and the service of the Most High Power, and the promises? We are servants unto Yahweh, the Most High Power. There's just no way around it. But not as slaves, not as captives but as a child serves the parent and is nurtured by the parent and learns from the parent and grows to the parent's glory. The book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 46, verse 12, hearken unto me, ye stout hearted that are far from righteousness. I bring near my righteousness. It shall not be far off and my salvation shall not tarry, and I will place salvation in Zion for Israel, my glory. The righteous judgment of those who have oppressed and trodden down the nation of Israel, it's on its way. The righteousness for the two thirds who refuse to fear and turn unto the Father, that's on its way. Salvation shall not be long for the one third, the men, women, and children, the true believers, the remnant. Salvation's on its way, and the Father will place salvation in Zion for Israel, his glory. With everything that's going on on the earth today, all this uncertainty, people will be seeking out answers, and they will know who the Israelites truly are, and they will think to themselves, well, I'm an Israelite. Now, there are those of the other nations that have been converted to the laws but are not of the seed and the blood. Does that mean every one of the other nations is going to be destroyed? No, but righteous judgment has begun upon the earth and those that do wickedly shall be judged accordingly. Remember the gift of Yahushai was only given unto the nation of Israel, but not every one of the other nations is an evil, wicked person. So why are we in this last captivity? Why are we as the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, the so-called Latins, Hispanics, the so-called Native Americans, why are we at the bottom? Why are we looked down upon and shunned and mocked and called niggers and spicks and wetbacks and prairie niggers? Why are we called the poor and minorities and illegal aliens and immigrants? Why are we called the uneducated? Why do we have no real power here? Because Yahweh the Most High Power, whom all glory comes from and all glory is due to, put his glory upon the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel only. And what did we do?
The Book of Psalms, chapter 106, verse 19. They, they being the nation of Israel, made a calf in Horeb and worshipped the molten image. Thus they, the nation of Israel, changed their glory into the similitude of an ox that eateth grass. They forgot the Most High Power, their Savior, which had done great things in Egypt. The book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 25, who changed the truth of the Most High Power into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. So this is where it began for us. The book of Exodus, chapter 32, verse 4. And he, he being our forefather Aaron, the high priest, and he received them at their hand and fashioned it with a graving tool after he had made it a molten calf. And they said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it, and Aaron made proclamation and said, Tomorrow is a feast to Yahweh." we see the immense glory and power of Yahweh delivering us out of Egypt and we change that glory into a beast of the field into a common thing into something ordinary and that is where it began and we kept doing it and we just chose to take on the ways of the other nations which did not have the glory of the most high power resting upon them such that in the book of judges chapter 2 verses 1 and 2 the most high sent down an angel and said hey i told you guys not to mingle with these other people and take on their ways and throughout our history we kept doing it and doing it and doing it until finally this last horrible captivity but here we are at the moment where the Father is showing his true glory upon the earth today, as he did back in Egypt before our first great salvation. And we can choose to honor the glory of Yahweh the Most High Power and the glory that he has bestowed upon us, or we can choose the glory in man and flesh and idols. But let's see how the Father feels about that. The book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 8. I am Yahweh. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. The book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 48, verse 11. For mine own sake, even for mine own sake, will I do it. For how should my name be polluted? And I will not give my glory unto another. So here we are, the brothers, the brothers who are out at camp, the brothers who are giving classes, the brothers who are online speaking this word in truth and in sincerity, saying, look at the glory of the Father right now with your own eyes upon this earth. Turn unto the Father and give him glory right now today, for all glory is due unto him. And we are the nation that he has placed his glory upon. Or you could choose to mingle with these other nations and take on their ways and worship their idols and their graven images. But we just read how the father feels about that. If after witnessing with your own eyes the glory and the majesty and the power and the judgment of the father upon the earth today upon this world world meaning time frame age span of time if you still choose to follow the leaders of these other nations and their philosophies and their doctrines and their beliefs and their news and their lies woe unto you so why are we the nation of israel serving out the last of this last captivity if we have the glory of the most high power upon us the last scripture we're going to in this chapter is the book of Psalms, chapter 78, verse 58. 
For they, they being the nation of Israel, whom the Father has placed his glory on, the only nation he has placed his glory on, for they provoked him to anger with their high places, and moved him to jealousy with their graven images. We were often groves and gardens, sacrificing unto other gods and idols, doing spiritual fornication. When the Most High Power heard this, he was wroth and greatly abhorred Israel. He hated us so that he forsook the tabernacle of Shiloh, the tent which he placed among men, and delivered his strength into captivity, and his glory, the nation and people of Israel, into the enemy's hand. That's why we're here. And if we do not give the Father the glory in all things, particularly with what we're watching on the earth today, then it will be the second death of fire. Make no mistake about it. World War III and the nuclear destruction of America are coming. It will coincide exactly with the return of our King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Savior, High Priest, and Brother Yahawashai. Thus saith Yahweh. Philippians 2, 9-11 Wherefore Yahweh also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahweh Shai every knee shall bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai is Lord, to the glory of Yahweh the Father. As it is written, Thus saith Yahweh, and nothing can stop it. This is a final warning, Israel. Shake off this world. Remember who you are and come home. All praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai.